These are Bauer Pro NXGs. These are from like seven or eight years ago. They're pretty old. At this point, it's kind of forced me to spend some money that I don't want to spend on new knee pads. Okay, so these are the Warrior Ritual X2 Pro Plus knee pads. They have a, they're calling it no slip design. You can feel the materials right here. It's super, super grippy, which would be nice for not losing that depth. In the, uh, in the actual knee pad itself, and not having them slip down, I like to think they're like 150 bucks. 160, I don't know, I'll put the price on the screen like right here. Did you see the dust money come down? Yeah, that's a big one. Well, I'm gonna use them on the ice molder. I have no idea what I was thinking wearing a long sleeve shirt on a day this goddamn hot. It's like 35 degrees. I think it's very obvious at this point in time that the 13 years of taking pucks off my face for a hobby is starting to shine through here. But I wanna talk about the X2 Pro Plus knee pads from Warrior, the new Pro ones. First off, I wanna start off by saying I'm a creature of habit. I don't like change, but I'm comfortable. For example, I usually get brand new gear every year. Every 365 days, I'm probably getting new gear. I haven't and I won't be anytime soon because I'm happy with my Warrior G4s. So I don't have a reason to switch. These are Bauer Pro NXG knee guards. These came out around 2012, maybe even 2013. I've had these things for six, actually seven years now. But the reason why I'm changing out of them for these, the X2 Pro Plus Warrior knee guards, new for this calendar year, 2019. All the stitching starting to come out, foams are starting to get soft, I'm feeling everything that's hitting my knees. I play with a very narrow butterfly to begin with, so the amount that I'm feeling pucks in my knees is not good, and is why I had to say goodbye and I had to get these knee pads. But with that in mind, I'm still in love with my Bauer knee pads, and these have some very, very, very big shoes to fill if I'm actually gonna switch to these full time. Funny enough, I was actually just texting Kirk Allen the other day, he's the head warrior rep, and he was asking me, what are your initial opinions on the X2 Pro Plus knee pads? And I told him, well, I hate them. Like the V1 Pro Plus stick before it, like every other piece of warrior equipment I tried or seen in the past, I was quick to judge and said, damn, this sucks, I hate it, I don't want it. But one thing Kirk did tell me was give them time. They are a very stiff knee pad. A lot of guys don't like them their first ice time, two or three. Uh, they're a lot like a memory foam pillow. They're very thick foams, they're very high density. If you give them a couple ice times, you'll sweat in them a lot, a lot of the heat will break down the foams and they'll actually become like a memory foam pillow on your knees. I can confirm this is true. These Bauer knee pads are what we call a European style knee pad. They're very thick, they're very bulky, they're not a volleyball style knee pad like the new 1S or 2S or 2X or any of the other knee pads in the market. The X2 Pro Pluses are the only knee pads, at least that I was able to find at Royal Sports in Winnipeg, that were bulky, thick, and European-esque, which is why I got them. Now at this point in time, I'm only a couple ice times in. I've probably only used them for about five ice times. I think after about the third ice time, they softened up noticeably and I actually started getting comfortable with them. I found there was a lot of support as well because the foams are so dense. So I'll probably get an extra inch of height in my butterfly because these, th because these foams are so thick, they're adding that extra height, which is awesome. Who's gonna complain about an extra inch of coverage in their butterfly? Not me, even though I'm 6'5 and I really don't need it. Now, would I recommend them? Absolutely. Granted, I haven't used them for a lot of ice times, only a handful. I still think they're a great knee pad. I'm still in the transitioning phase going from the NXGs to the Warriors, but I think in about two to three weeks time, I'll be using just the exclusive Warrior XR2s. My NXGs will be in the garbage because uh, they have literally no resale value. They're so old, they're so worn down. Hope you enjoyed. Cue the drone shots. SidelineSwap.com, like these knee pads, SidelineSwap has protection.
buyer protection, also seller protection. You won't get scammed. Anytime you buy something, you're back with a sideline swap buyer protection program. So if you buy something and it shows up not exactly as delivered, you get your money back, no questions asked. Swap takes care of people. Go to sidelineswap.com and I'll see you, uh, well, sometime soon.